So we are doing financial reporting and we'll look at the partnership. Last time we looked at uh, partnership dissolution. Today we want to look at partnership conversion. So there are two items. One, there is dissolution, dissolution of a partnership. Dissolution of a partnership, including, including piecemeal, piecemeal dissolution. So last time we looked at the piecemeal dissolution. We looked at dissolution of partnership, including a piecemeal dissolution, and there is conversion of a partnership. into a limited company. So this is what we want to start with today. We have looked at dissolution of a partnership and now we want to look at conversion of a partnership. We want to convert a partnership to a company limited. What will be the process? We are very much interested with the accounting entries. We want to convert a partnership to a company limited. No, there are so many advantages or disadvantages of being in a partnership and there are so many advantages of being in a company limited. In fact, there are more advantages to have a company than a, uh, than, uh, than a partnership. One of the very important advantages of being in a company is about the limited liability clause. Now, in a partnership, there is unlimited liability. That means that if you are unable to pay your creditors in a partnership, then the court will order the creditors to recover their monies from your own personal assets as a partner. And that is honestly very, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, very disturbing to the partners. As not where the, the, you will recover the, your own your debt from the partner's assets, personal assets, that one becomes very discouraging being in a partnership. But in a company, the company if goes under or is unable you know, to continue as business, they will have to pay the liabilities, they will have to pay the creditors from the assets of the company and that's all. It does not go to the extent of the owners of the company. It does not go to the extent of the shareholders of the company. It does not go to the personal assets of those shareholders of the company. No, that's a very, very big advantage of being in a company. There are many other advantages. Like, you know what? A partnership cannot sue or be sued in its own name. If you are suing a partnership, you are simply suing the owners. But in a company, a company can sue or can be sued in, in its own name. Meaning, without the shareholders coming in, without the owners being involved, a company can sue in its own name, can be sued in its own name. That's another big advantage. So there are so many advantages of being in a company as compared to being in a partnership. Well, a partnership sometimes is easy to form, right? Uh, uh, you know, a partnership can, uh, you can do business very fast with the, your, 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 your other partner, uh, but uh, not a company. But apart from that or alongside that, there are more advantages of being in a company, especially the element of the limited liability clause is very, very important. And that's why partnership will continue as business and after some time, they will convert to a company limited. Our interest in this case for uh, a conversion of partnership is what are the accounting entries. And basically, the accounting entries will, be, will involve to close the books of the partnership and open the books of the company. That's what we'll be required to do. So we are saying when we are converting, let me say we want to look at conversion, conversion of a partnership, conversion of a partnership into a limited liability, into a limited liability company, a limited liability company limited
So we want to uh, uh, convert a partnership into a limited liability company. So what will happen? So first, we'll close the books, the books of the partnership, the books. will be the vendor's account. Vendors, now this is the vendor account that is prepared for those who are actually selling the business. Number three, number three item is just the obvious assets and liabilities. Assets and liabilities, assets and liabilities accounts. Number four, being a company will have the share capital, will have the share capital account you know, we'll have uh, the preference, uh, that is the same, share capital, preference share capital. We'll have reserves. We have uh, reserves account. And we have items like uh, debentures. Debentures or long-term debt. You no, know, or long-term, long-term debt account. So those are the items or the accounts that we should open in the books of the company. Now, very importantly, that if the business is transferred from the partnership to a company, a new company is normally formed to take over the business of the partnership. If a new company is formed, then the new company will be required to pay a purchase consideration. So you should remember, remember there is purchase consideration purchase consideration, purchase consideration. In the purchase consideration, this is the price, this is the offer that will be given for as a consideration for the business taken over. We are taking over business of a partnership. So the company will be required to pay for the assets and liabilities, for the assets they are taking over from a partnership. So we call it a purchase consideration. This purchase consideration may be in form of shares, cash, or even debentures. So this is the, the, the value, value, value of assets, value of assets. Let me say value of net assets, the value of net assets, value of net assets, 
value of net assets paid value of net assets paid to the partners to the partners to the partners by the company by the company by the company for the business for the business for the business taken over for the business taken over for the business taken over so the value of net assets paid to the partners by the company for the business taken over now purchase consideration may be in form of may be in form of in form of shares we have shares no debentures 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 and even and uh, or cash you know it can be on cash basis that's the purchase consideration there are many methods of which will be used to calculate the purchase consideration methods 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 used methods used to determine methods used to determine purchase consideration purchase consideration purchase consideration there are many methods used methods used to determine purchase consideration now one of the method is uh, lump sum lump sum method lump sum method is not even a method now because they will agree the the partners or the the the, the parties the selling and the buying the parties will agree at a figure a lump sum figure for the business as a whole the amount that will be paid for the business as a whole that is the lump sum method that is not very common in this case it means that they will agree a specific a, a specific figure a specific specific figure specific specific figure will be will be agreed will be agreed upon will be agreed upon a specific figure will be agreed upon and that's what will be used for the business as a whole will be used as a purchase consideration number 2 we also have the net assets method net assets method the net assets method is the main common the net assets method is the one we are going to use for partnership at this level we'll use the net assets method simply this one you take the assets the assets taken over assets taken over taken over by the company by the company by the company at agreed values at agreed values at agreed values you subtract the liabilities you subtract the liabilities taken over the liabilities taken over at agreed values at agreed at agreed values so that's what happens you take the assets taken over um, or by the company at agreed values minus the liabilities taken over at agreed values the difference will be the purchase consideration that's a net assets method but we have the other method would not be used at this at this uh, uh, at this level the net um, the net payment method we have the net payment the net payment method under the net payment method we are going to have all the modes of payments together you know add add all the modes of payments modes of payment modes of payment together and that will be and that will be the purchase consideration for example we are saying that the purchase consideration is equal to the cash payments cash payments we have uh, shares pay, shares shares based payments shares based payments plus the debenture based debenture based payments and that will be the purchase consideration so those are the methods we are not going to commonly use these and even this one the most common one used is the net assets method In the net assets method friends we are going to have the assets taken over by the company at agreed values we subtract the liabilities taken over at agreed values that's a very important point don't don't even consider this one because this one is not common don't consider the third one is not common the number 2 is the most 
common very important method that you should not forget in your life you know this if you're going to calculate the purchase consideration for in uh, case of conversion where a company has taken over the business of a partnership then the most common method is the net assets method where we take the assets taken over by the company at agreed values you subtract the liabilities taken over by the company at agreed values that's important so it's good to remember that now at that point we need to talk about the accounting entries remember we have talked about the books of the partnership we have also talked about the books of the company now it would be important and necessary to discuss the accounting entries how do we close the books of the partnership how do we close the books of the partnership now i want to i will want to create some space i want to create some space create some space here because I want to talk about the accounting entries. The accounting entries, and it would be necessary also to create enough space here. To create enough space. To create enough space. I will also want to create enough space here because I'll want to use this side to maintain uh, the ledgers at the same time when I'm, I'm doing the journal entries or I'm reminding the accounting entries here. So. We are talking about the accounting entries. We are talking about the accounting entries. We are talking about the accounting entries in the books of, in the books, in the books of the partnership, in the books of the partnership, in the books of the partnership. The accounting entries in the books of the partnership. Now, one of the accounting entries is that at some point the business may have been continued as partnership up to a point in time where it was converted to a company but at the time when it was converted to a, a company the profit for the period had not been determined the profit had not been appropriated accordingly so it will be important to prepare the uh, you know a profit or loss account up to a point when it was converted to a company we determine the profit for that period that profit will be appropriated so if that had not been done at the time of conversion the profit had not been determined it had not been appropriated the in on interest on capital interest on drawings partner salary and what have you then it will be important to determine the net profit and appropriate it accordingly meaning you close that appropriation account to the partner's current account so we come and say uh, determine 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 the profit determine the profit or or loss determine the profit or loss and close and close and close the appropriation account the appropriation account the appropriation account to uh, appropriation account to the uh, to the partners to the partners to the partners current account the partners current account if these had not been determined if at the time of conversion appropriation had not been done meaning the profit had not been determined or the profit had been determined but they had not closed the books of uh, uh, the partners they had not closed the partners current account accordingly so what we do here so a a you know with the profit with the with the with the net profit with the net profit with the net profit when it was a partnership what do you do you are going to debit your profit or loss account. you know it can be a loss profit or loss account you do that then we say you credit your appropriation account appropriation account appropriation account like that then b you need to appropriate that profit in the name of you know I, before i even go there i'll also talk about the interest on drawings you may have with the interests with the interest on drawings interest on drawings interest on drawings what do you do with the interest on drawings you debit your appropriation account your appropriation account sorry you you debit your you debit your partner's current account you debit your partner's current account 
that's what you do then you credit your appropriation account you credit your appropriation account that's very important to do that then number c we may have items like interest on capital we may have a, a partner salary we may have the profit share so you come and say with with the interest with the interest with the interest on capital and a partner salary partners partner salary partner salary what do you do you debit the appropriation account you debit the appropriation account the appropriation account with those items then you credit your partner's current account your partner's current account with those with the interest on capital remember there are two items here and the partner's salary so with the two items debit your appropriation account credit your partner's current account now the balancing figure in your appropriation account will either be a profit or a loss so the balancing figure the balancing the balancing figure the balancing figure uh, in the appropriation account in the appropriation account in the appropriation account will either be will either will either be a profit will either be a profit or a loss a profit or a loss so what do you do you must share that profit or loss using the profit or loss sharing ratio so share it share it share it using using profit or uh, profit and loss profit and loss ratio profit and loss ratio so roman one if a profit you know what to do if a profit then we are going to debit the appropriation account the appropriation account appropriation account then we credit the partner's current account the partner's current account in that order roman two if a loss if a loss then we are going to debit the partner's current account the partner's current account then you credit the appropriation account you credit the appropriation account that's important so that's what you need to do thank you for watching this video don't forget to get yourself a copy of our professionally prepared study text and revision partners. Visit our shop along Tomboya Street, Pioneer House, third floor, opposite fire station.